I don't want to make things just to be looked at. I want to make things to be used, right? And even if there were things lying around that we're going to be looking at, you know, I hope like part of it is understood that for me, it's always about taking that and living with it, right? And using it. In different families, they're doing different, they have a different uh, kind of approach or they have different, let's say, different hand, different kind of feeling. And it was really, I think, passed on from their parents also. You know, you could see that the mother of the, who was making the object now learned from her mother and the daughter is now learning from her mother. And I think that's like a really, yeah, that's another way of like passing on knowledge and, and actually a lot of stories being told as you sit around with the whole family kind of making things. A través del barro va uno aprendiendo este, tanto físico como mental, espiritual, como le dije, de todo, un poco. La verdad es muy bonito y sí, me gusta mucho mi trabajo. Desde hace tiempo, Rick Smith ha trabajado en Oaxaca y este tiempo, último año, estuvimos visitando varias comunidades, pues solo observando y conviviendo con las guardianas de esta tradición. Y en ese diálogo fue que empezamos a hacer barro y juntos empezamos a pensar en qué podríamos hacer juntos. My initial thought was, oh, it would be great to go to the villages and to see the pottery and things being made, but then also to cook. Mm -hmm. because everything is being you know, made to be used. So I thought we could go and do a kind of a pottery cookbook. Mm -hmm. And um, Demetria kind of took us up the mountain, you know, and then we had a discussion about, oh, there's a nice brick house, stone house up on top, and we could look at it, and maybe we could do something with this, you know. I mean, my initial thought was, I thought, oh, it'd be great for a place for people to come and have time to spend there, just so that they have a real experience. And uh, I was saying jokingly yesterday that, uh, you know, the house, the actual stone house is actually too big to fit in here, and we would have to have a bigger gallery to do <laughs> the actual size, right? Um, so I, we basically kind of scaled it down based on the how it fits into the space. Of course, because I come from more Asian uh, tradition and we use the bowls for different things. And so the different things we use it for, we use different shapes, you know? So I was kind of like uh, just suggesting or like asking to see if they could move the shape a little bit. And then I think what we see here is that kind of, a kind of push and pull of this movement. There's always the traditional form and the traditional shape and the, even the technique of how they finish the clay. And then I'm coming and saying, please don't finish it, just leave it rough, you know? Or let's just fire it and like leave all the ash on it, you know? And that's a kind of like different, I hope maybe from the, the experience we have together that they see, oh, this person sees it very differently and has a... You know, and that, that could be an interesting exchange.